The CIS's droid army was lethal and responsible for the deaths of millions of clones as well as countless Jedi and civilians. But why did the CIS choose to use droids as opposed to conscripting troops from the countless Separatist worlds? Now, when the Separatist movement began, Dooku and Sidious knew that it was essential to have a large company backing them in order to finance the war effort, as many of the Separatist worlds were relatively poor and based in the Outer Rim. For this reason, they'd never be able to afford the construction of an army or a fleet. But why exactly did they choose droids? True, there are some obvious answers, such as unquestionable loyalty, reliability, and a vast range of variation in different models. However, realistically, there's many flaws and weaknesses with droids. For example, an inability to act outside their programming. As well as this, using droids made the CIS be villainified by much of the galaxy. Having cold machines invading world made the CIS appear incompassionate in a way. It wasn't people liberating people from the Republic, it was cold hard machines. It's for this reason why I believe that the CIS didn't use droids due to combat efficiency or a way to preserve life, but as necessity. You see, when the Separatist movement began and worlds began declaring independence long before the Clone Wars, the Republic would simply dispatch Jedi or judicial forces or impose sanctions to stop the rebellion before it could really take off. You see, the Republic had enjoyed a millennia of peace before the Clone Wars. For this reason, most worlds didn't have large standing armies or battle fleets. Both were essential if planning on leaving the Republic. For this reason, early warning signs of disloyalty to the Republic could easily be spotted. If an Outer Rim world began stockpiling weapons, forming militias, and assembling fleets, it made their intentions very obvious. The only worlds that would be able to become independent pre-droid armies were the ones that had always maintained or acquired a considerable military presence, for example Umbara or Jabin. Both had always had militaries, largely due to the planet itself having deadly flora or fauna, or due to pirates and other threats. And, as we see, the CIS had no problem using these troops once the war had begun. Essentially, there was a situation where the Republic could prevent worlds from leaving before they got chance to officiate it, and before the succession movement could gain any pace in the Senate. As after one world decides to leave and reaps the benefits of lower taxes and regulations, etc., many others would begin to want to do the same, like a domino effect, as this secession movement would essentially mean the death of the Republic. And it's for this reason the CIS chose to use droids. Many of the large financial tycoons were manufacturers of weapons, droids and ships. For this reason, they could build up armies in secret. It didn't look suspicious for the Techno Union to begin manufacturing battle droids. As well as this, they had access to the resources they needed, as the companies often bought the supplies required to make battleships and weapons. Therefore, no red flags would be raised to the Republic, who would be none the wiser. For this reason, the Separatist Council would create a huge military, and the worlds that were disloyal to the Republic could simply turn when the time was right, when they already had an army to back them up, when it was too late for Republic reprisal. Not only this, but the droids were ready to fight straight off the manufacturing line. They could be easily shipped from world to world, just ready to be used. There was no need for training, and no way for the Republic to spot this threat before it was too late. For this reason, the CIS was able to build momentum spreading across the galaxy in secret, hiding behind a charade of business as usual for the enormously wealthy tycoons. But what do you think of the CIS's droid army, and why do you think they chose droids? I hope you enjoyed, if so, please remember to like, sub and share, as it helps the channel grow and is always really appreciated. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Guy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.